Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Sculpt Fun S10 laser engraver slash CNC. Well, it's not really CNC machine, but laser cutting machine. So let's take a look what we got. See some glasses. Good thing they actually pack some safety protection here. Charger. Or power cord, sorry. The actual laser itself. A set of bars. Oh boy, lots of instructions. Okay, I will go through this in a sec. This looks like this needs a lot of, this will need a lot of TLC. I'll have to put this together. Uh, let's go through the other packages to see what we got first. So I believe one of these is the air pump. comes this one is the EU version they did let me know ahead of time that this was going to be um, an EU version I'm curious though what happens why they have an American plug go through an EU adapter like this is a really stupid idea because I don't think this down volts it at all so um, this is how you fry devices if you nothing about the product here just if you did not know that this was this basically directly takes 220 volts that is commonly found in EU and converts it to an American style plug, which is very easy to fry stuff if you didn't know what you were doing. This is a hefty boy. Let's see if it uh, where it even works. I mean, it does put some air output. I think their concern though is that the voltage is too low that it actually doesn't produce much output. So of course with lower voltage, it's not going to be as strong as it should. So you should definitely get some type a pump that's a little bit stronger in the voltage department or works with American voltage. This looks like the mat. And that looks like the mat that goes on top. So this looks like something that will dissipate the uh, anything that goes through it so you don't actually tear up your... Um, so um, I guess it's now time to assemble. So I have been running this sucker, been doing my testing, and uh, yeah, I have quite a few comments to make. Um, surprisingly, I think out of the history of this channel, I think this has the most good things to, to bad things ratio. So um, credit where credit's due. That's a it's a higher earning accomplishment. Um, so first off, I want to talk about that. A, the packaging on here seems to be spot on. And the reason why I talk about packaging with something like this is that a lot of times when you get 3D printers or you get something like 3D printers, laser engraver, something like that, the printer arrives like busted. Like this was clearly shipped from a far, from probably like China or whatever. And it was clearly a large, large package. So um, all the motors came, they were not bent, the um, metal that come, protrudes from the motors was not bent, which happens a lot when you get stuff that's shipped. So the packaging was spot on, credit where credit's due. Also, this whole assembly is really precise, um, solid, when assembled properly, it all works really well. Um, I have the some issues with the pump. I, mean, I have somewhat of a jerry rig solution. Um, I'm waiting to get that pump in, but pretty much right now, regardless of the pump, everything works really well. Um, quality wise, I have a couple test prints that I did. Um, so I have the first one, which I did the channel logo, um, or actually the main channel logo, and I did that. And that, of course, is um, at 100% uh, strength. And that, of course, actually did not cut all the way through, it cut about halfway through, which, um, given that I was having issues with the pump at the time, that's actually pretty solid. Um, so it couldn't, of course, go in there and blow everything out. Um, but I think overall, don't expect, even with the fan blowing it out, um, don't expect it to be like super cut through super thick pieces of wood. Um, but this did definitely did do a good job at 100%, kind of replicating the channel logo. Um, I also printed a picture of me and my girlfriend. And that was kind of what I did there. And this one was a little bit higher quality at a little bit faster speed at 100% laser strength. 
So this was, I believe, done. Um, I did this one 100%. I think it was like 400 millimeters per second. And for, I mean, it might have been four, I don't remember, 400 or 4,000. Um, but that was kind of what I did. And then I had 100% strength. And there was, I mean, yes, there's a little bit of um, surface, but this definitely did not go as deep as um, this one does. Of course, it doesn't look as dark, but I think that, like, overall quality wise, um, it came out really nicely with that. So I use Laser Gerbil to do my um, to do my both of these actually, which is not the more complicated option. It's more simpler, um, but like overall, no issues. The only thing I will say is you might notice this one's slightly off centered, um, but I was able to, of course. Um, There's also kind of like weird, a little bit off. And that was because I just didn't have it situated properly. So let's go through and talk about, um, I guess the, so I have a couple of extras. Um, there is the pad that it comes with to kind of dissipate, uh, the light and protect your table. So the pad that it comes with, um, actually ended up having little issues with that. Um, my only complaint of course, is that the pad that it came with, um, didn't actually cover the whole area. So if you wanted to print something that was actually taking advantage of the full size, um, well, actually this tab does not come with it, but if you want to take advantage of the full size, you'll need some type of other additional platform. Also, it comes with, um, a protection. I want to say like metal protection, a piece of metal basically to help you not burn the hole in your table. And, uh, that's like yay big. Actually, I'm going to get, well, let me ask you a question. What are you, what are you going to do with something that's yay big? Like this wasn't even as big as like a piece of wood that I burned on. Like... That's nice and all. That's great. But like, this is like maybe like an eighth of the size of the laser engraver. So, um, I mean, yeah. So additionally, a couple other comments, the actual laser engraver itself has of course protective, um, like half protective housing. Um, I really think that they could have gone a little bit farther and implemented a more, uh, robust solution for the protective housing. So, you know, your eyes, because right now the glasses that it comes with, you know, I would like something a little bit also um, on the actual laser engraver itself. Um, but overall, it's rather quiet. Um, the, of course, the only thing you're really hearing is the fan. Um, and honestly, the separate motors are actually rather quiet too, so no issues with regards there. The assembly was a little longer than expected. Took a good bit of time making sure that everything was properly aligned. Um, everything was properly installed. And... While I would complain about it taking a while to assemble, I realized that by complaining about making it more easy to assemble, it would also be more likely to be damaged in shipping. And in my opinion, I would rather have a more difficult product to assemble than something that is broken and arrives broken on sh from shipping. So I will take what we currently have. Um, while I can complain, there's not really much alternatives. I understand that. Um, Housing and build quality for this, everything's solid metal, aluminum. Um, honestly, everything is about as high quality as you can get. Um, I would, of course, be curious to know if there was an ability to add some type of extension kit um, because I definitely think that there is an opportunity to have, of course, longer sides um, because this is clearly, you know, the, the main carriage is, of course, only so wide. You could, of course, add some longer poles there and then do some much larger um, prints there as well not prints, engravings. So overall, um, just through my couple of my test prints, I tried a couple other materials too. I don't have them, they're downstairs, um, at least on me. But um, I tried a couple other test prints. Everything worked fine. Uh, honestly, like all around, I found this to be very nice. Like my, my complaints, I really didn't have any. I mean, the price is rather high but I didn't really have much complaints in regard to this. I do feel like one thing I will say, the only complaint I did have is that the tube that it comes with for the you know air is rather flimsy. So it easily kinks and then it stops the airflow. Um, but out of everything, if that's all you have to complain about. It still does a fantastic job printing or engraving. And, uh, Quality-wise, looks pretty solid there as well. 
Um, so the one thing I will point out though is as I'm aware, um, a couple other companies are doing stuff with like quad uh, diode lasers. So they're a little bit more stronger and they can actually like cut through metal. Um, so it'll be interesting to see in terms how that compares in the future, but that might be something that comes up sooner on this channel as well. Um, but overall, I really like this. I really found this to be a cool product and something I think if you are really into making some kind of, if you're into like 3D printing and you're into like making your own little gadgets and gizmos, um, if you like making, um, you know, making your own crafts, um, and especially if you want something that, you know, you can cut out and use for like, you know, assembling, I don't know, wood, instead of having to actually like cut wood, you can use this. I mean, I definitely think that this is, um, you know, a, a cool product to have in like a maker's arsenal. So, um, yeah, that kind of concludes my review. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and, uh, yeah, I actually highly recommend it. So, um, yeah, very cool. And I'm sure there'll be a lot more use out of this, um, shortly. So bye.